everybody welcome or welcome back i'm aletta and i'm so super excited today because we are starting a brand new island so as you can see we are on a little island here and i guess spoiler for the fruit i'm sorry about that but i've had a poll out for i think over a week now about what theme you would like to see for this island and archipelago core won over the rest of them it got almost 50 percent votes so that's what we're going with here we're gonna have an archipelago island and i'm very excited to do that um get some water terraforming in and maybe do little mountains here and there since archipelagos are kind of just like little mountain islands so i think it's gonna be a lot of fun and a little bit different and yeah i'm very excited so let's jump into the island starting progress and i will see you back here at the tent later on in the video <laughs> i hope you enjoy <laughs> Hi guys! Good afternoon, we're so excited to have you here! Thank you, thank you. This is your first time playing for one of our packages? Yes it is. Understood. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Oletta, Oletta, let's see... Oh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture. Okay, awesome, we'll make our little avatar. All right. Oh, I like her little outfit too. We got blue shirt and shoes and I still can't decide between the blue eyes and the gray eyes because I just feel like there needs to be an in-between for me, but it's, it's fine. Great. You're all set. Okay. I'm excited. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to look at the maps. Just follow your instincts. I have not thought about what kind of map I want. Okay. We got two islands here. I do like that these have a lot of water already. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. We might have to reset and get a different map, but we'll see what color airport we get and everything. Any customers waiting to board to make their way to the gate at this time? Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Peaches? Okay, we did just have peaches on the last island. But the fruit doesn't really matter. Um, I really want a blue airport. Green? Green's okay, too. We, I do like Agnes and Sterling. I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short, short orientation session? Hey, Sterling. We gotta get a move on. Come on. Wanna get left behind? Let's go. Okay, Agnes. Sheesh. Okay, let me just look around. I'm at your start. I don't know, I like it so far. We kind of already have islands too, which is nice. I got this like little funky shaped one. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Agnes here? And how about Sterling? And there's Oletta, of course. Hello, Tom. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. I'm Tom Nook, and today's the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. Choose a spot of your own. All right. Thank you. I will take that. Oh, we get a map. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can put it on this little sand spot right here. That works. Beautiful. Love it, love it. Alright, Agnes, is this where you want to be? I'm Agnes, I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, Snuffle. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble. I'll find you a spot. Alright, Sterling. I think having Sterling is a good sign because we just had him on the fairy tale island. So it kind of like feels a little bit familiar. I'll find you a spot. Looks like everyone has a spot picked out. I need to go back to the plaza. Alright, it's sunset already. 
And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party, we'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We just need supplies. Since we'll all be living together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Alright. Well, we'll just pick everything up as we go. Alright. Only got four tree branches. Ten. Perfect. Alright, Tom. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches. Very well. Allow me to lighten your load. Here you go. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like peaches, they smell like peaches, and they even taste like peaches. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine peaches. Oh my goodness, I think I have that memorized now. What's this? You've already collected enough peaches for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thanks once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands. Hey, I didn't say you could have those. <laughs> All right, now that that's everything, we'll get started with the festivities. Light the fire, Tom. Whoosh. Amazing. I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore. What should we call it? I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. In the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Okay. Now here is where my name comes into play. Originally I was thinking Plum Bayou, um, but I think Plum Lakes sounds a little bit more kind of on theme. And yeah, I think it's a cute name because we're doing the archipelago island. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Let me know if you like it. And if you don't, I can start over or pick up where we left off, you know? But that's what we're going with for now. Yes, I think it's adorable. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready, go. Bellevue, Isla de Biceps, Awesome Beach. Oh, what's fun and variety. <laughs> okay, I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Oleta seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. Oleta suggested Plum Lakes. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose everyone was in agreement. We could just Go with Plum Lakes. Sounds great, absolutely it rocks. I love the villagers we got. Well, Aletta, since you've proven yourself by naming Plum Lakes, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need on this island. All right, resident representative of Plum Lakes. Hmm, so we settled on the name and we selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Oh my goodness, some peach juice. It's fresh juice made from peaches. Without farther ado, a toast. Cheers. Love it. All right. I think we'll go with this island. I did want a blue airport, but that doesn't matter that much. I think any color would go with our theme anyway. So I just thought blue and water, you know. But yeah, let's just say hi to everybody and then we'll go to sleep. Having fun, I'm going to kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'm taking it easy tonight. Scraw! I've never settled in the island before. Plum Lakes, this is going to be a rad snuffle. I love our starter villagers. We're here to act as your support staff, but we've never lived on an uninhabited island before either. We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent. Ah, Oletta, having a good time. I know this is a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the firebird thing. Maybe I'll go do that. Alright, cool. We got a little camping cot. Thank you. That's all for now. Sweet dreams. Awesome. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna run around, and then we'll head to the tent. Alright, so I grabbed... Um, oh, I was gonna say not... Not that many weeds, but I guess three stacks of weeds and the shells that I could get and all the branches that were on the ground. I didn't pick up all the weeds in this section that we can walk to, but you know, we're not rushing. So we'll just go to bed here and go to tomorrow, get our Nook phone. We got our 
radio and lantern here. And then we'll put our little camping cot over here. Alright, let's go to sleep. First day done. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. Oletta, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you up abruptly. But I do wish to discuss something with you. I'll be here when you're ready. So you're saying he's just standing out there? Alright, Tom. Hello! Ooh, it's a beautiful day. There you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I have a few more things that you might find useful. First, you'll need one of these. Thank you. It's your very own Nook Bone. I had these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working, so could you try turning it on for me? Hmm? Alright, we got our little phone here. Welcome. Thank you. Alright, here's your itemized bill. I don't have any... any bells, Tom. Oh, good one. Wait, you're being serious. Yes, of course. Can you believe I didn't think of this? Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods and, or services here on Plum Lakes. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. For the getaway package, you can pay your fee with miles instead of bells. Awesome. Would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay miles. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters, but let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Plum Lakes and a client of Nook, Inc. Amazing! My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Island life will now be synced with the time of the real world. I actually do have it in sync right now. I'm not sure how much time traveling we're going to do, if any. But perfect, we're already getting miles. Alright, so we already got 500. Perfect. So right away, I want to look at the map here, get a little closer look. I like to get a screenshot so I can look at that later when the island changes. So I guess we're going with this island. I would like a farther away resident services, but I think because we're doing an archipelago, it's going to work out since we're going to probably have water all around it anyway, so let's see. Yeah, we'll probably have like a sideways bridge over here. It'll be cute. Awesome. And we already got some mail here. What is this? Paradise planning photo. And then, thanks for using your specially colored Joy-Cons, yes. Congratulations on your new move. This is a DIY recipe, I wonder how I can memorize it. Alright, since we're over here, let's open the camera for the first time, and I'll do the intro, and then I'll see you here in a second. Alright, we are back here. I hope you enjoyed that intro earlier, but yeah, we got our, our little friends over here, we gotta say hi to them. Yo, Uleta, that spot you found for me is just incredible. Thanks. I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies. Hurrah! Alright, I've got something here for you. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Denim cap. Alright, we got our little hat. Alright, well, we can look for shelves. And I saw Agnes. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. What? Yo, I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. Gotta look out for each other here. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. Oh yeah, I was thinking about how to thank you, and I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Oh, thanks. I gotta learn how to make those still. If you've never done a DIY project, you should ask Tom Nook to help you out. Alright, we'll go do that right now. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? <laughs> I'm offering a free DIY workshop. Yep, that's why I'm here. About the workshop. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think will be quite useful. I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Alright, we'll be making a fishing rod. Perfect. Alright, I already have five tree branches, so this is good. Yep, I have them. All right, here we go, first DIY. 
Oh my goodness. I made a flimsy fishing rod. That was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. Hmm? Alright, he's giving us a couple more DIY recipes. There we go. Got a new app. Alright, thanks, Tom. What's up, Timmy? You don't waste any time, do you? We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'll take a look. Alright, we got... <laughs> What's an oil barrel and a plastic canister? Oh boy. Um, can I sell anything to you yet? We're not your sellers, we'll also buy things from you. Okay. I have a couple shells. Um, I'll keep the weeds for leaf, I think, or we'll just keep them for DIYs. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get a slingshot then. Unless I can make one? I don't think I can. Yeah, we can't make, um, a slingshot yet, so I'm gonna buy one. Alright, from buying and selling, we already have over a thousand miles, so... We're getting there. Oh, I guess I should have made the net while I was in there. Okay, perfect. I think we should probably go fishing. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in my house, but let's learn these recipes first. Simple DIY workbench. And our leaf umbrella. Lovely. Alright, I cleared the pockets a little bit. So, let's go fishing. And I also grabbed a net. Well, I didn't... Oh, yes, we can do the same shot. I made a net because it's only five tree branches, just like the fishing rod. What do we get? What do we get? A mountain black bass? Okay, I'll probably just sell that. <laughs> what the heck? Cool. Oh, we can also shake the trees now that I have a net. Perfect. Get those little items. Alright, we'll save all the first ones we catch for the lathers. Not sure if I want to keep his museum a tent or not still. Let me know what y'all think. I think it might fit the aesthetic of Archipelago more, more than the big building, you know. But okay, we got common butterfly. Perfect. Still no items. Do you not get any of the first day? Because, okay, okay, confirmed. We get bells. Cool. Awesome, a thousand bells. Oh, wasp. That's exactly why we got the net. Got a wasp. That's casting. Oh, good. And we got a wasp nest. I will take that. Okay, I think we got all the trees and no items. So let's go fishing. Oh, some garbage. This empty can could be repurposed. I've got an idea. What do we got? The little succulent thing. Yeah. Cool. We'll make that then. Do we give him stuff for blathers yet? Hello! What should I do? Alright, I can give him insects and fish. I found a creature. Got a black bass. I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. That reminds me. Ooh, Critterpedia, thank you. Oh, that reminds me we should try and get a wetsuit as well. Yes, you can also have this butterfly. Mind if I sent this? Yep. Ooh, we're getting more DIY recipes, thank you. Maybe the other flimsy recipes? Oh, I guess we can make an axe. Awesome. Then we can make, um... A simple DIY workbench. Also, we got the watering can recipe for the little flowers he just gave us. Oh, okay, cool. We sent enough. Blathers, is that you? Oh, it's blended timing. Yep, do you remember the adventure we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have to pick a spot for the tent. Then we need another, or I guess one stone. Okay, cool. Then we can start chopping down some wood. 
Hmm. Oh wow, it's very orange out right now. We should put the tent maybe to the left over here. We'll have the tent tomorrow. So I'm going to put our little tiger butterfly out here so we can give that to Blathers. Sweet. The sun is starting to go down, so I think this is the perfect place to end our first adventure on Plum Lakes. I'm very excited. Let me know what y'all think of the name for the island and any ideas you have. Should we keep the museum tent as a tent moving forward? Um, do you think this island layout is good for an archipelago island? And yeah, anything like that. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.